Hey guys, so um, I had a thought. Let me fix my camera. Welcome to my new space. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Um, so um, a couple things. Uh, this is all about permission giving to yourself, allowing yourself to feel confident despite whatever inner critic that you might have on anything, on personal goals, business goals, life goals, anything. Um, and also, um, you know, like how, I wanted to talk about how we hold ourselves back from really going after what we really want out of fear or, you know, it's not, it might, it can, it can be, but you know, like external or internal circumstances that hold us back from really going after big, big goals that we really want and love. And I was just, um, I was talking to somebody saying they were, they were really wanting to start doing videos and I, and I totally felt the same way. And the idea that, um, putting yourself out there and like, you might hold yourself back from putting yourself out there for a myriad of reasons. And they can all be very good reasons. They can have, make a lot of logical sense, but at the end of the day, the only result is that you're left like with all those excuses and, and reasons for holding yourself back and not doing what you're really wanting to do. And so I felt the same way. I've been making videos for like a, a year now. And you know, I was afraid of critics or haters or crickets or you know, just a million things. Privacy, showing up, period, just sharing what I know and you know, thoughts and ideas with the, you know about things and spirituality and tarot and just my journey. And of course, I had a million reasons to not do it, but oh my gosh, I, I mean, let me just tell you, this whole year has been amazing. And, um, and I hate to see when people not do things over, you know, re, you know, internal reasons and external. And then also, you know, if you do have a hater and then you stop, um, don't let a hater stop you from going after things. You know, people, you know, I, I was thinking like people, if, if people that are haters, they, they have enough free time to like, you know, complain to other people and, you know, if they're on the internet complaining about stuff, you know, they have other things going on in their lives. So it's like, don't take it personally, whether you know them or not. You know, like one of my big fears was like people that know me. Oh, <laughs> it's a big truck. Okay. Um, people that know me in real life might be like, whoa, you know, what is, who's this girl talking about spirituality and tarot, you know, because I don't share that with everybody, you know, it's kind of like a personal thing, you know, and I wanted to, I wanted to be able to share my, my personal opinion with tarot and spirituality with other like-minded individuals. I'm not here to find haters and, um, or people that are not, you know, in my everyday life, I wouldn't necessarily want them to know I, um, you know, it's like you just want to keep it personal or keep that private as you can. But don't let people or the idea of people or the fear of people stop you from putting yourself out there in a big way. Whether that's you writing a book um, or, you know, creating a product or a service or starting a business or or going out there and doing stuff. You know, I remember when I first started jujitsu, I was so nervous. You know, it wasn't like I started it with a friend. You know, it was like I did it on my own. You know, I didn't know anybody at that gym, and it was kind of nerve-wracking because it's, you know, martial arts, it's contact sports, and, you know, and it turned out everyone was super nice, but I was thinking, even if it wasn't, you know, an ideal space for me, it's like, you just, you know, try something. You can always stop it later, but don't, you know, do it on your own free will and your own volition and not let anyone stop you from putting yourself out there you know it's okay to be vulnerable and if you do get a hater everyone says it and I truly believe like it it is just a rite of passage and treat it that way don't treat it like well I have a hater I can't continue on no just remind yourself of all the people that may or may not like express it to you but just know that you there's other people out there that really do want to hear what you have to say so you just have to like Sometimes the haters can maybe be the most vocal, but there's also amazing people out there that want to hear you or see you or buy your service or hear what your thoughts are. Don't, don't hold yourself back out of fear. And I was like, I know that feeling. I was like fearing the fear of fucking up or failing or not doing it yet. Perfectionism, you know, not doing it perfectly or not being seen in a certain light. Like it doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter. Don't don't care anymore. It's like I've gotten to the point where it's like I realize like when they say you need to have like no fucks to give, you get to a point where you just have no fucks to give. Like you don't care about haters. Like just get into that state of mind. Like you can slowly get you know dip your toe into that the idea of you don't care if you have a hater. You don't care if some you know someone doesn't like you or what you know or if you're not perfect you know just like leave it all at the door and just do what you really are wanting to do because I swear like your soul points you in the right direction I really just it's like I want everyone to be able to like pursue what really matters to them and share their wealth and knowledge and you know just share what they have done because that's an on, that's only an inspiration for other people right it's not you know like you putting yourself out there is going to help other people be like it, that were in your shoes do the same thing like okay if she can do it I can do it I mean trust me I've seen other people that my my role models I'm like they're doing it I can do this too so okay all right that's all I got to say on that for right now but don't let yeah fear of not being able to do something don't don't let the fear hold you back just just you know, like, whatever it is, just start doing it. You know, I wanted, to, I can think of a million different things that this has come up, like, for me personally. Um, I went to Scotland um, for my freshman year in college. I didn't know anybody. Everyone was asking me, like, why are you going? You don't know anybody over there. I'm like, well, that's, you know, not, well, that's not the point. But, you know, it's like, I could have said, oh, well, I don't know anybody. I should just stay home and not go far away. I was like, no, I did that. I was like, oh, I started a business. You know, it's like, I didn't know that business. I, I could have had a million people tell me, you can't do that business. Well, it's like, it's been 11 years. Oh, I did that too. You know, um, I remember like one of my biggest fears was, well, you know, starting a YouTube channel and even on um, public speaking. And I got one of my girlfriends, awesome friend of mine, she got me um, a speaking, a public speaking gig on entrepreneurship last year spring so like almost two years ago and um and I remember being so afraid and I realized that was my compass the, the fear internal fear I had of public speaking I was like for my soul growth I have to do this I have to do this for me and and it was it was amazing or you know the, I, it was very nerve-wracking the whole experience was very good soul growth for me and it's like I didn't stop myself you know the fear of not doing a good job not having anything to speak about not thinking I had anything to speak about or and it ended up being amazing, and I felt like, and I got such great feedback, and it was just, it was like, okay, good. It was worth, it was worth all the, uh, the fear, overcoming that fear to help and speak to these other girls. So, yeah, all right. So, I hope that helps you guys. I would love to know if, you know, if you do have anything holding you back, like, really, really um, break it down. Like, what is it? And then just kind of like, even like writing down all your fears of something, like an action that you're really wanting to take, write down all your fears and, you know, EFT tap on them or just, you know, or burn it in a, you know, burn it in a fire, be like, okay, I have all these fears. I'm burning all these fears now. I'm not letting my fears hold me back anymore because who cares, you know, fuck those fears, fuck them, you know, go do what you need to do. Go do what you really want to do. It's only, it's only for your highest good to overcome fears. And you don't want fear driving you. You want you want to do what you know really is what you really desire deep down. Okay, all right. So have a blessed day. <laughs>